back to the channel. So I've got a watch in for review. This is from a company called Audric. This is the Seaborn 500 meter diver. Uh, this is a prototype. Um, very nice for a prototype. I mean, this thing is in, I mean, it, it, it looks like it's the final product. So I guess what they're going to do is make some uh, changes to the hands. Uh, the loom is supposed to be brighter, do some things to the, to the clasp and bracelet and everything. I mean, look at the clasp of this prototype. It has perlage work. I mean, this, this, <laughs> this thing is very nice. It even has a diver's extension with that, uh, that slide, you know, extension and everything for like a glide lock style. So very, very nice, uh, here from Audric watch company. Um, it is a micro brand. From what I understand, they're going to produce a lot more watches, and this is their, I believe, their first one. Um, and this is very nice, and I think it's limited. This one uh, is, of course, a prototype, so it's a zero um, limited edition number, but um, I think these are limited edition watches. I will put a link in the description to their website, and you guys can check them out. But uh, let me get the dimensions out of the way. This is a 44.5 millimeters from side to side. Uh, 51.9 millimeters from lug tip to lug tip. We have a thickness at 15.3 millimeters thick, and our lug opening is 22 millimeter lugs, okay? Very nice style, um, kind of a turtle, they call it kind of a turtle shape. You got your turtle on the on the back, on the case back there, but kind of has a turtle cushion style case. Uh, very nice work on the sides here. If you look at the how it's kind of bordered, all the way along the side of the case there, uh, recessed in there, and then you have your uh, helium escape valve. Um, very angular on the lugs, polished chamfer up here on the top. So very nice, different angles. Um, very different design cues, something I've never really seen. Uh, this is new on, on the Marshall Time channel, so this is very cool. This is an all original design, uh, but you see the, the chamfer on the, even on the lugs here chamfered polish on the lugs there lug lug or the not the lugs the crown crown guards and then you have a signed crown and that's polished um polished bezel and then beautiful color on this one this is uh, like a aqua you know aqua blue teal color and they, they have a bunch of different colorways from what i understand if you look at that dial it has all those uh those lines throughout the dial and then you have Throughout near that chapter ring, you have all those little circles in there. And then you have your chapter ring, 60 minute countdown on the chapter ring. And then you have um, the first to 10 in red, and then from 10 to 20 in yellow. You have your date there at the three o'clock. Very nice handset, I like it. Uh, Audric there at the 12. At six, we have Seaborn 500 meters. Swiss made at the very bottom there at the six o'clock, if you guys can see that right there. Um, sapphire crystal, and it is, uh, it doesn't look like it's dome, but a, a flat sapphire crystal. And then the, I believe this bezel insert is loomed and it is sapphire coated. So this is sapphire coated as well, so it won't scratch. So that's, that's very nice. I mean, they do quite a bit to this watch. For micro brand, um, you're getting quite a bit. Screw in links. And this is a big, I mean, it's, it just feels like it's over-engineered. Um, very solid, tough watch. Here's your diver uh, extension here. So like a glide lock style. Um, you have, uh, there's no micro adjustments or anything, but you do, it just has this glide, glide lock type of thing, ratcheting deal there. So that's nice. Um, not any press metal, all, all um, you know, or not stamped, all, all um, um, what am I trying to say here? All completely machined, uh, very nice clasp, locks in very good, very nice there. On the band you have brushed on, it's a, it's a what, five link six system here. So you have the three here, which are brushed, and then center links are polished. So the very center link is brushed all the way through, but um, you guys see that, that's very nice, done very well. So I, I I'm impressed. I'd like to see the final product. It's going to be, if it's supposed to be better than this, I mean, it's, that's, that's high end stuff. So done very, very well. 120 click and very nice precise clicks and measure, uh, lines up perfectly there right at the 12 o'clock. That looks very good. 
uh, screw down case back. Let's look at that case back. Let's open this up. Screw down case back, you have the turtle, sapphire crystal, SW200 movement, uh, 28,800 vibrations per hour, about a 38 hour power reserve, very nice. Um, 50 ATM, 500 meters, 316L stainless steel, Audric Seaborn, and then you got your little turtle there. Very nice, I like that turtle, looks good. Uh, very nice machine work back here. Um, just about everything they did to this watch is, is top, top notch. Let's do a loom shot, then I'll put it on my wrist. And from what I understand, the loom is going to be better than this on the final product, but this is actually very good um, from what I've seen. So let's check that out. Let's kill the lights. All right. If I can turn this side off. Oh, wow. Look at that thing. So, wow. It's just like this. It's like an ice ice color really loom that's nice that's cool so the hands are loomed up pretty bright now of course the final product your hour markers are going to be very bright as well and you know what they do with these micro brands is to demonstrate you know the different types of loom they'll they'll do you know different pretty much different potencies on all these different markers and, and bezel and everything just so you can get an idea of of what you want you know what i mean so just picture maybe this whole thing lit up like the hands because the hands are pretty bright. So that's nice. That looks good. Let me turn the lights back on. And what I'll do is I'll put it on my wrist. And you know, since I have the time grapher out, I'm going to throw it on there as well. It's running a uh, SW200. So it should have um, pretty good, uh, pretty good um, uh, movement accuracy and everything. So let's see if this will fit fit me oh yeah it just barely does with the extension all the way up so that's on my seven and a half inch wrist like just in between seven and a half seven and a quarter seven and a half inch wrist right around there but uh fits me very well you know especially with that giant case i mean 44.5 almost 45 millimeters from side to side and then that tip to tip at 51.9 it almost doesn't seem like that because the lugs slope down if you see how they angle down like that so very, there's a lot of thought that went into designing this watch and they did a very great, a very good job on designing it. I mean, I mean, very good. Um, I can't express that enough, guys. This is a very well-made, very nice, very well thought out um, piece of steel here. So I like that. Let's put it on the time grapher and we will see where we're at. So we'll see how they are with their accuracy, if they regulate, all that kind of stuff. And this is just a prototype too, so you know I'm sure their final final result will be all uh, tied in. But um, let's see, so 28,800 vibrations per hour. Uh, amplitude's low because you know I didn't wind it. Let me wind this thing up. Let me get a better. Let's let's give it a fair shake. So let's wind her up, and let's do this on camera so you guys can see. So I'm going to give it a really good wind here. And then that way, you guys can see how it is at a full wind. Screw down crown, of course. And nice size crown. And I like the gnarling on it. I mean, it's real easy to, to grip and everything. So let's throw it on. There we go. Okay, let's see what happens here. Okay, so we're off. So look at that, wow. 308 amplitude, that's great. Beat error only 0.1, 28,800 vibrations per hour, plus four seconds so far. So they're, they, looks like they do some regulation. Uh, I'm pretty sure a, a SW200 right out of the box isn't this good. So it looks like they do do some, some, some regulation some tweaking. I'm not sure if they do it in different positions or not. Let's put it in the position as if we were wearing the piece. See what happens there. It's kind of on the side there. Let's see how that measures out here. Give it time to settle. Wow, this is becoming a pretty long review here. But you know what? At least I'm getting everything. If you guys are interested in this watch, you're we're looking at everything. The 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 looks, the, the mechanics, the loom. I mean, you're getting it all. 
So yeah, see, they, they it varies a little bit, so it's gonna run a little bit faster on the wrist. Uh, not bad. Your beat error changed a little bit, so not too bad. So there you have it, guys. This is the Audric Seaborn 500, mil or 500 meter dive watch. Uh, there's another good look at it. Thank you so much for watching, guys. Please like and subscribe, and you guys take care. I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.